go get him again. Welcome to the Robes Away channel. My name is Mark. If you are a returning, welcome back. If you're new here, especially on this video and you just subscribed, please don't hesitate to say hello in the comment section. I love to see new faces on the channel. Now, welcome to Sampling Sample Sunday. Every Sunday we are sampling. Love to sample new brands, new fragrances. Today we are going to sample the brand of DS and Durga. I've sampled several over the past couple months. Um, it is one of the brands that is probably one of the fastest growing within my collection in the past 24 months. This one in particular is their Oud based release, which is called Notorious Oud. I believe I'm the first on the tube to speak about this one in English. So that's a, you know, I used to do that back in the day in 2009 every day. Every video was he. <laughs> first on a fragrance, it was nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of relish these type of videos um, just because I am the only one and I'm helping out um, anybody that is looking for some information on the tube about this particular fragrance. The brand of DS and Durga started out in Brooklyn, uh, which to note um, this particular fragrance I see is uh, dedicated to the late great Notorious B.I.G., which hails also from Brooklyn, so hence the name Notorious Oud. Um, so, would Biggie would be wearing Oud this time? Uh, maybe, perhaps. Now let's take a look. Let's go take a look under the hood. Let's take a look at some stats on this one. Release date was back in 2019. Uh, Concentration Eau de Parfum. Uh, the nose behind this is, of course, founder and nose of the brand, David Seth Maltz. Um, the major notes to my nose, obviously Oud has to be uh, central if you're gonna name it Oud. Not every Oud is Oud centric, but this one actually is. So good to hear, I'm sure to a lot of you. Saffron is another major note and it's like it's little buddy, like Saffron, Rose and Oud are always together, it seems. In this one, the third note as a major note is not the floral rose, but the floral lavender. So uh, a little unique and we'll see what kind of edge it gives to the particular fragrance. Let's delve into this one. Now Notorious Oud is my scent of the day. I just uh, almost completed my whole uh, little Lucky Scent sample here. Not sponsored, but you can sponsor me if you want. I'd love to get uh, freebies of these little, these little samples. But uh, there goes, it is drained. I'm just gonna share the wealth here and remind me of the introduction of Notorious Oud. And she's a spicy little number up top, I think. It, it, the two major factors that hit me immediately is the Oud and the Saffron. Uh, mostly Saffron, yeah. So the opening of Notorious Oud hits you hard with the saffron note. I, I feel like it's very saffron heavy up top. Um, it's the primary note here. And honestly, I'll be honest, one of the better saffron notes I've come to sniff with in my jersey. The saffron here is 3D, ultra realistic. and shows all its facets from um, the spicy fact facet to the sweet facet to even the leathery tones in saffron. So it really is 3D. It's showing everything from the note. It's absolutely gorgeous and it just basically starts you off. Now the first thing that it really hits me is mostly the spicy facet of saffron, not the leathery tone and the sweetness. Bridge. These facets come a little later in the set. You will smell the saffron as a primary note up top. You can't miss it and it will continue its path throughout the set, losing some steam and let other notes come through. Uh, however, it's still a building block in Notorious Oud. I really feel like this is one of the big facets in this particular release is the saffron. Looking at the note breakdown, I immediately noticed the trifecta here of saffron, oud, and rose and wondered if this would indeed be Durga's take on the popular recipe. A recipe that we may be kind of bored of, to be quite honest. I personally think this is their take on uh, the trifecta. It's unique seeing uh, the saffron, which is usually the third wheel in um, these type of fragrances, actually be the strongest one, the dominant one, so early. Um, it goes more into a secondary note, more into the dry down, um, giving way basically to the oud as the central facet of this release, as hence the name. So this one is 
oud centric in my personal opinion um, the note of civet is also named in the note breakdown and when i saw that that even piqued my interest even more to sample unfortunately on my skin um, don't be alarmed this fragrance isn't animalic at all from the oud or the civet um, i felt no animalic the only real animalic feel I, I feel out of this release is more of the leathery tone here. It, it does have like a animalic feel to it, but the civet, um, not at all. And also the oud is quite tamed. The oud accord here is very dusty and woody. Some would say westernized. It, it has a slightly medicinal tone, but nothing too crazy here, but very solid as a Nacord. I mean, really is well done um, in this particular release. It pairs well, obviously, with the Saffron, um, which of course they're one and two. The X factors here is the Galbanum, and that is one of the things, one of the notes that I really wanted to speak about in this review. It gives this, um, this scent a unique take. You know, Saffron, Rose, Oud is, is some of the same. Um, the galbanum in here shows its resinous side, its green aspects up top. It really changes things a little bit. The one thing I noticed in Notorious Oud is this fragrance really hits you upside the head right off the bat. It, it really is big and pungent. Um, it gives you a big wallop, of course, of the saffron. It gives you a multifaceted saffron, a spicy one, a really interesting one, but it really engulfs the user. The Oud at the same time, even though it's a tame note, I feel I mean, it really does engulf the user up top, like that saffron, the Oud, the Galbanum. There's a lot going on on these three notes, but I'll be honest, it really smooths out much more into the heart. Now, into the heart, the saffron shows more of its leathery aspects. I would say it's more of a suede-like um, tone than like a big barking leather that has a lot of rough and tumbleness. It really doesn't. It's a nice addition to the oud and galbanum. The florals start mellowing the scent more with the rose coming in, but it really, the, the rose really isn't a huge factor here. But the other floral, like I named earlier, the lavender is actually um, the main culprit of, I would say, in the floral aspects of this fragrance. It shows a little bit of its soapy quality here, cleaning the scent up quite a bit. The balance in this scent is remarkable. It's well done. Um, the lavender, I, I feel, is the one that really brings those major notes down a notch and go, okay, Let's, let's give it a little bit more smoothness here, and I think the lavender does that, that balance. The oud dustiness and the woody backbone continue to push itself on the user. Um, it's not gonna change much as a whole as far as the scent goes. Um, you know, once the scent is done on your skin, I feel like this is where this aspect goes. There's not much movement out of this release. So there's not much development in the scent, to be quite honest, after hour one. Um, there's some moving parts from the opening to the heart, but once the florals are introduced, things mellow down and you're basically along for the ride and nothing much changes. There's a mildly smoky aspect from time to time that comes through the dry down and that's to be expected in regards to the notes that we see in this release, but it, it isn't a smoke show by any stretch of the imagination. Overall, Notorious Oud isn't too off the wall. It isn't too notorious, to be quite honest. It takes a familiar DNA of rose, saffron, and oud and gives its take. I guess every brand needs one of these and Durga does well spotlighting the saffron out of all of the three notes that people or brands that like to spotlight. The rose usually is dominant. The oud is usually dominant. There's not too many saffron dominant ones. Um, here they did spotlight it and give it its, let's say spotlight in the opening of the release. So I feel like that's the star of the show just because I see so much of um of the note in here a lot of the facets which is beautifully done so at the end of the day the saffron is really what my nose gravitated to even though the oud accord really took over at the end i like the leathery kick from the saffron and the lavender edition which are a little unique in a composition like this at the end of the day very solid take on a basically a classic trend 
So now let's get into season day night versatility and performance. As far as seasons go, I would say um, this type of scent is built for fall and winter, but I can see you extending the life of this one, especially in an overcast night, spring night, something like that, um, definitely would be a great time to wear this one. Day or night, I feel like this is more of a nighttime scent. Uh, versatility is fairly average on this one. Um, I don't see anything that really would stop you from wearing it, maybe the really high heat, but other than that, fairly versatile not the most versatile fragrance but fairly average a uh, performance longevity was seven to eight hours with average projections so um, again in this realm the rose oud saffron combo um you can again if longevity and projection is your jam i don't think this is a fragrance you want to go towards um you know there's so many in this realm that will push 10 plus hours that will be beast mode so at the end of the day, it depends on your taste. Um, I feel like this is a very solid release um, in this realm. So at the end of the day, Notorious Oud did nothing new in the genre, which is actually overly saturated. However, it's done very well. Don't expect much animalic bite with Oud and Civet listed in the note breakdown. I really wanted to mention that in my fragrance review, at least on my skin. Um, you think you might get some, um, some bite here. There's not much here, but the Oud is much westernized here. I'll be honest to my nose. And the stars of the show actually are the saffron up top. And again, throughout the fragrance, it stays throughout the whole thing. And the lavender and maybe even the galbanum as the X factor here makes this piece actually worth sniffing to be quite honest. A solid release, but nothing new on the market. So if you own a bunch of these, you may want to skip this one depending on who you are. But uh, definitely if you're going in a Durga boutique, one to sniff, especially if you don't own any wood based fragrances, saffron based fragrances. This is a solid release at the end of the day. If I had to give it a score currently out of 10, I'm going to give this one a strong 8 out of 10. I think it's a very solid release, even though it doesn't give you anything new. I think the build is what makes this one good, in my personal opinion. Very, very solid release from the brand of DS and Durga. Now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Let us know what you think of this release. Love it, hate it. Um, definitely, please share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your oud-based fragrance wisely. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one.